YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back with some quick fix videos for you guys on Pentair's Racer Pressure Side Pool Cleaner. This will work for both the Racer regular model as well as the Racer LS. Stay tuned as we dive right in. All right guys, and we're back. So again, today we have another quick fix video for you guys on Pentair's Racer Pressure Side Pool Cleaner. This will work for both the Racer and the Racer LS. For today's video, we wanna actually show you guys how to remove the front scrubber here, um, located towards the big front tires. So this scrubber is uh, really good for making sure that as this cleaner runs across the bottom of your pool floor, it's getting all that extra dirt and debris. Specifically, if you have like a Pebble Tech pool, it's gonna go ahead and get in all those crevices to make sure that all the dirt gets pushed up and force towards the main tube here of the cleaner. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that you guys are away from the pool because for this one, you're gonna start messing with metal screws. The last thing you guys wanna do is see a metal screw drop into the pool and then you guys gotta sit there and fish it out. So go ahead, flip the cleaner over. And then all you're looking for is it has a single Phillips head screw here located on one side of the scrubber. So the other one actually has a full gear kit assembly here where it, uh, this helps drive the, the cleaner as it's attached with the wheel. So if you guys wanna know how to get the wheels off and kind of strip it down to where we are now, make sure you guys check out the links in the description. We've got a full playlist for you guys, but um, I've already got the wheels off. So for today, all you're focused on is just this main Phillips head screw. So only tool needed is just a Phillips head screwdriver. It, it screws tend to be like a wider head. So using a bigger Phillips head screwdriver just makes it a lot easier. So you don't take the, uh, the option of stripping out the screws. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this one screw on the side here. It's not a very long screw, but depending on how long this has been in your pool, it could be on there pretty tight. Uh, we have ran into some of the cleaners actually having, um, this specific piece kind of glued in, which it should not be. This is meant to be removed. This is the only way you can get the scrubber off. So in this case, it is a new one. The, the glue is not attached here. So once you guys get that screw loose and you guys know it's loose, all you're gonna do is just go ahead and grab the scrubber and kind of lift so that this actual plastic cover piece comes off. And as you guys can see here on the cleaner, it almost looks like some of the plastic had sheared. Cause like I said, when they initially install these on, um, these rollers are meant to last quite a long time. So they actually put a little bit of glue on this cap so that it just helps seal that scrubber in there. But you will need to break that seal in order to get this piece off, to be able to get the scrubber off which over time, all these little pieces on the scrubber do tend to wear down depending on the surface of your pool, chemicals, et cetera. So once you guys actually get this little piece off, like I said, the scrubber just pulls right out. This is actually gonna give you access to a few other screws, which we'll actually go over in another video. Um, and it, as you guys can see, it's just a solid piece in here. So if you have your new scrubber assembly that you're looking to install, it is directional. You guys want to make sure that when you put this thing in that you don't put it in the wrong way. The main plastic piece, which is kind of more of a uh, just just a cap on this side is what's actually going to sit in between um, underneath this this piece that we took off. And the metal piece is actually going to feed into the gear that's located here on the side. Again, this gear rides with the wheel. So as the scrubber's turning, it also helps drive the cleaner forward, aside from using just the power of the axle and the turbine inside. So it does help give it a, an additional boost. So when you're going to put it in, I always like to make sure that you put the metal side into that gear set. And then all you're going to do is just kind of feed it down in so that it sits nice and pretty there into that little gap. Now you're just going to go ahead and take your cap again. The cap, again, directional, you can't twist it around, put it in any other direction, so you can only go in one way. If it does not sit flush immediately with the actual frame of the cleaner, you know you did something wrong with the scrubber and you're gonna wanna take that off, reset, make sure everything gets good um, with level, otherwise the scrubber um, won't function when you guys put everything back together. So go ahead, tighten back down the screw. Hand tight, hand tight only. 
do not want to use any kind of power tools. You don't want to take the chance of breaking any of these plastics. So as you guys saw, I kind of helped keep the plastic part down with my finger here. So hand tight, it's in there nice. Again, you should be able to kind of manually turn the scrubber. If you guys did not install it correctly, the scrubber will not spin and you guys got to take it apart and go back again. So again, we just want to show you guys how to take this off, show you guys how to replace it with a new one. Uh, make sure you guys check out all the links in the description. Again, we got a full playlist of all these videos of tearing apart this cleaner. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all of our stuff. I'm Kyle with the Pool Supply. We'll see you next time.